Hello, welcome to the studio. This is my last day for the Christmas holidays in the studio. So I am looking at some of the pieces that I've started that I'm about midway through and adding little bits to them really. So it's what I call a bits and pieces day. So um, I'm just going to be adding some drawn elements into some of the pieces, um, stamping um, shapes into some of them, just adding a bit of bright colour, anything that the piece doesn't have at the moment. So something different to add to it and hopefully I'm get, that will uh, mean that they're finished by the end of the session. Uh, if you like what you see then do subscribe to the channel and like the video and you can also see lots more of what I do at ruthander.co.uk including any workshops that I'm running and uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, I'm at ruthanderprints. So here I am finishing off some little pieces, or some pieces, and I'm just adding quite small elements. Um, so this particular piece here, um, I, I think I need something small in it. I need something dark. It needs a little bit of darkness. Um, it is ostensibly a seascape, quite an abstract seascape. Um, I'm go actually going to add, I've got a little cardboard cutout here. It's very difficult to see, but that is stencil card. and. Um, I am going to just put a little bit of ink onto it and then press it into the piece. So what I normally use for this is just a piece of kitchen towel. Um, the reason I do this is because it actually, um, it, uh, the texture of it is very similar to all the other printed elements. And so it sort of works quite well within the image. Anything else sometimes, you know, like um, can, can just jar a little bit. So I essentially kind of stamp in if I want a, uh, a like a, a form, a shape that's quite definite. I often use a cardboard cutout and I sort of, kind of stamp it in I suppose. I'm going to show you how I actually do it. Okay so I've actually got paint on that now. So again I'm using oil paint here uh, and then I'm going to place it on. Now be careful if you have inky fingers here. I'm going to put it right up against this kind of curtain of rain cloud just, I think that will be a nice tension in the piece. And what I'm actually going to do, you can just press that in, and I, and I think I will press it in. So this is going to be like a little island shape, I suppose. It's just going to bring the piece together. But what I also like to do to get it really good is just put a little bit of tape over. So this is dry, the rest of it's dry, so I can kind of put low tack tape over, and then you can actually burnish the back trying to feel where it is it's about there okay and actually as you start to burnish it will start to all sort of emboss the back of your paper this is etching paper because it has had a photopolymer etching printed onto it already so it's quite thick paper it's not ideal really for mono printing if this was thinner paper i'd probably just stamp this in this shape in Ooh, pulled a bit of the paper off Ooh, okay we're all right, I think. So there we go. So the piece of cards actually come off with the tape. I'll peel that off in a minute. There we go. We've just got something there that's quite definite, quite small, draws the eye. And the other thing I'm going to do with the same piece is actually add some very thin lines along the bottom, I think, in the bottom area. It's got some nice monoprint lines on there already, the red ones. Um, and they're sort of very soft and velvety, but I'd quite like some thin lines. Again, as a kind of juxtaposition to what's already there. And also to add some real darkness because it's it's quite mid-tony, this piece at the moment. Nothing really drawing the eye, no contrast. Or not as much as I'd like. So I'm just rolling out a fairly even, fairly thin layer of paint. This is oil paint again. Same colour as I used for the island actually. Now what I don't want, I don't want to get ink anywhere on this area here. So um, I think I'm actually going to turn it upside 
down and just place it where I want it. And I'm hoping to get thin lines with the end of this knife here. So obviously a very precise thing. And I'm just going to draw it across. See if that's done the trick. Ah, yeah, okay, so some nice thin lines there just to draw the eye down a bit. And I might just do one more. So it really depends on the utensil that you're using. These, you know, the end of a knife is going to produce a, quite a nice thin mark. It's only pressing a very small amount onto the back of the paper. Whereas perhaps the handle of the knife will, will really make a much thicker mark. In fact, I think I used that for the thicker red lines there. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a little bit of brightness to this piece here. What I'm basically doing with all these pieces is just looking at them and seeing what they don't have, what's missing from them. And so with the other one, it was it was smaller, smaller pieces, darkness. Uh, with this one, I just feel like it just needs a bit of brightness, possibly a bit of contrast. So I'm going for this very bright red colour. And I'm hopefully going to just do some very subtle lines. And again, I might use the end of the knife actually to uh, um, make those really thin. And I'm going to roll this paint out quite thin too. Okay. Uh, right, I'm going to take a little bit of that paint off just so it doesn't kind of splurge everywhere when I press onto the back of it. Because again, this is actually etching paper. It's quite thick paper. It doesn't react quite as subtly as um, the thinner papers that I usually use for mono print. Right, I'm going to lay, actually, one thing I'm going to do, first of all, is, now you can't see this, but I'm just going to put this up against the window and I'm drawing a line on the back Can you see that? I've drawn a line on the back where this line is here. And if you hold it up to the window, um, you can see through like a light box, really. And that's just going to allow me, even though I can't see through the paper, it's going to allow me to have a vague idea of where I want to put my lines. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So they are thicker than expected, but I really like them. I really like the quality of them. And they definitely add brightness to the picture. So I've ended up with a, a kind of a negative of what I've just printed. So I'm actually just going to take a quick ghost print on some uh, tissue paper that I have here. So ghost print is just where you take off as much ink as is left on your surface and I often do this, I'm just using my hand pressure here, um, because you end up with lots of lovely collage papers. So um, this is great for then using chine collé for another piece, so starting another piece off. So with this one, I'm finding it hard to know what to do, but I do think that it probably needs a, something small in it, something small and something dark, especially in this area. There's actually just a few odd marks here that um, suggest themselves as birds. So I'm actually going to just use my 6B pencil to just do rather sort of rough um, marks that hopefully will suggest birds but just add something to take the eye up there. And I often just do this, um, just add a little bit of 
something, just a drawn element, maybe something quite small. So with this one, I think I'm going to add some trees here. And again, I, you know, it's not amazing drawing. It's just um, something to suggest that something's going on over there, something in the distance. So this is quite a sort of large, almost, I would say, semi-abstract piece. But these will hopefully bring the eye up to the horizon here and just finish it off. And so here we have the finished pieces. And I think these are finished now. Um, so we've got those beautiful velvety, scratchy red lines on this one. The um, island that's been added with the piece of card on this one here. And just those little birds added at the top on this one, the drawn element, really quite rough, but um, I just think that they, they kind of complete the picture, draw the eye. And this one here, which was the larger, slightly abstract landscape with the trees added in. <laughs> 